Right now, we are getting another live look from WLKY Chopper HD, and we have Urban League President Sadiqwa Reynolds on the phone with us. Now, Sadiqwa, you're a very uh, well-known and outspoken member of our community here in Louisville. Give us your take on the last few nights and the protests we've seen. Well, you know, I, thank you all for having me on. I wanted, first of all, I think we have to put this rage into context. I think people have a right to their outrage and they have a right to peaceful protest. And what we have seen in Louisville for the most part are that people have tried to have these peaceful protests. And for a while they have been. And obviously they, both nights they've gone bad. And tonight so far has been peaceful. But I've been out there and I have to tell you it is eerie. It is eerie tonight um, in a way that the other two nights weren't. And, I, and I, I obviously wasn't out there last night when people were looting. But um, you get the sense that it's, I hope I'm wrong. I hope that I'm wrong. I saw someone with a torch tonight. Um, I, I, it, it's just a little eerie. But can I say this? I, I think it is so important for us in Louisville because I think we can be the best city in the country to identify how it is that we got here, to understand that people are suffering. Black people especially are tired of being abused, of not being heard. Um, I, I, I just have to be honest with you all. That's all I know how to do. When, when Colin Kaepernick kneeled peacefully, you know, people were upset about that. There, there really is no way that, that has been identified by people in power for black people to express themselves. And that's why you keep having over and over, you know, year after year, it may be five years, it might be 10 years, but you have these protests and you have these things happen because the power dynamics haven't changed. People still don't feel more valued, more valuable. Um, access to justice hasn't changed. And if you all think about it, were it not for the cameras in some of these cases, we would never know what actually happened. In the case of Brianna, we wouldn't know. If her mother hadn't been so persistent, we would never have known that side of the story, Kenny's side of the story. So this is happening because there's no outlet for justice. And so if, if there are people in this city tonight, and, and I have a lot of friends of all races, and some of them got their businesses vandalized last night, but let me tell you something. If you are pushing for protesting to end and you are not with the same force pushing, pushing for justice, we are at a crossroads. We are at an impasse. We deserve justice. Yeah. And, and, and I love this city. And Sadiqua, I don't want to see anything happen. Yes. Sadiqwa, I, I think it's important. You just you just mentioned a very important point and, and a sentiment that I got while I was down there last night from protesters who are, are, are residents of West Louisville, a, a part of the community you have been championing for, the you know, the complex you're trying to put out there, the, the, the community that you're trying to revitalize in the West End. And the sentiment that he got to your point, he wants people to keep the same energy that they have when they see the unfortunate looting and the violence. Um, they want that same energy on the alleged injustices that you mentioned. Um, it, I think it's important to put into context just how do you think the city moves forward? Right now we're seeing protests here, um, you know, gratefully, you know, it's not as severe as we've seen as other parts of the country, but to that point, you have a lot of cities around our country, including, you know, your home state, New York, you know, where, where, where people are outraged. Um, how does the city move forward here in Louisville? Um, you know, obviously you, you, you think about the George Floyd case, you think about Ahmaud Arbery, but here in our Derby City, we're dealing with the Breonna Taylor case where there are still, uh, you know, calls for the arrest of the three officers involved. How does the city move forward from this? I have been on the phone all day, I, all yesterday. I, I don't feel like I have slept in days um, between trying to be downtown and figuring out what's happening and trying to figure out how to move forward. And sadly, people want complete justice. They And that's not sad. I mean, it's sad that they have to demand it, that we have to demand it. There is an expectation that these officers who were wrong will be indicted in Louisville. And the challenge is going to be the timing of that. I know that it will happen. I believe it will happen. This can't go on. 
I, I, so I think what, what we have to do, though, in our country, we have to begin talking about how could we have this many deaths, this many people killed, innocent people killed in this short amount of time. That that's what's bubbling up. I mean, no one's asking those kinds of questions. So we've got to have that very real dialogue followed by some serious action. And the only action right now that will be acceptable across America is that folks are held accountable. That's the answer. Gotcha. So, so we should not burn our cities down. We should not put ourselves in harm, harm's way. But we should be raising our voices for change because, I'm, Stefan, this is as emotionally draining for me as a mother, as a woman, as a black woman. I am I it, I cannot explain the pain. And I'm sure you have some. And I know there are white people who do as well. This is painful to watch. This is painful to participate in. But what we have suffered has been painful. And until people who have the power to really make substantive change, make it, we are all going to have hell to pay. And the last thing, please, those we are not safe. Some of those officers, you look at them and you know that they're scared. We have good police officers, some of them, and, and, the, and the bad ones put the good ones at risk. Yeah, absolutely. And, and I think to to your point, is in, it is important to highlight that there are a lot of good officers out there, but to the point of protesters that we talked to last night and, and over the past, the course of the past week and the past couple of weeks, um, they're, they're saying that there's no, that we, you can't afford to have bad apples and not address the issues that are at hand. Uh, what do you make of the timing? I know that uh, uh, more protesters I was talking to last night, they were saying that, you know, you could arrest these officers on just, you know, indict them in, in, in probable cause. You look at the case here, you look at the case in Minneapolis where they, you know, they finally got the uh, arrest of one of the officers. Now they're calling for more arrest of the other officers. What do you make of timing um, in, in, in comparison to the, the protests that are ongoing, that, that you have folks that are wanting to see basic justice uh, in, in this case? Well, I mean, if you think about it, so in Minneapolis, you have the one officer. But again, people are saying, wait a minute, there there were other officers there who could have intervened, who should have intervened, who could have changed the outcome. We want them all gone. We want them all indicted. So this, we don't want partial justice. You know, I talked earlier today about, gosh, just think about Rodney King. We watched a video of this man being beaten. No justice, no consequences, no nothing. So this, this thing, it just spills out. So um, from a timing standpoint for us here in Louisville, unfortunately, I think it's going to be a while before we know what is to happen completely with those officers. And I don't think that's in our interest. And I don't know how that could be expedited. I think it ought to be. Um, but I understand, I better than most people understand, I am an attorney, I have been a judge, so I know it is not a quick process, I understand the mayor's perspective, you know, if he terminates them, or, you know, and, and then what happens, you know, with the union, and they're brought back, and I, it's a complicated process, but let me tell you, what people are saying to me is, and I wrote this in my letter yesterday, when it is, when we are the victims, there is an abundance of caution. And so we're worried about money. We're worried about if the lawsuits and all this. Do you know how much money what last night is going to cost this city? We have got to act like our lives matter. And I, and I want to say, because this is hard for me, I like the mayor. In fact, I, I more than like the mayor. I work for the mayor. He is trying but he must understand this is not personal toward him. This is about structural and systemic racism and bias that has pervaded our country since the beginning of it. And it's time to fix it. We can do it. Louisville can do it. But we all have to want to do it. Sadiq, well, we want to thank you for your voice and, of course, your commitment to make our city better. And thank you for your time tonight. Um, before we let you go, is there anything that you want to leave us with? Any parting words? There are. I want to say this. There are not. Everybody out there tonight, especially, is not protesting for the same thing. We have different groups out there. And if you take a step out, it takes five minutes to figure that out. Tonight 
people need to be paying attention to who it is that they are following because you will be you will be led into something terrible. And and this is the same thing, you know, last night you had so many people just trying to be peaceful, trying to make sure their voices were heard, trying to be respectful of the memories of those we have lost. And instead, you had others who who went another route. And there weren't a whole bunch of those people, but there were enough to cause a lot of damage and to do some damage even to the movement. And we've got to make sure that we we do this, but that we are effective and that people are strategic about it. And that means don't hurt yourself trying to save yourself. We can do better than this. We are better than this, and we will get justice this time. We have to. Well, Sadiqa, thank you so much for joining us. We, we really appreciate it. And, and as you mentioned, this city can do better. We hope they can do better. We'll continue our coverage on the other side of this break. We'll be right back.